The men's basketball team is ready to make an impact in the Southern Conference this year. Coach Matheny is entering his second season with the Phoenix, and our team was there to find out the expectations for the 2010-2011 season. Coming off a 9-23 record last season, the Elon Phoenix are looking to improve and capitalize off their late season success. I had the opportunity to sit down with Elon men's head basketball coach Matt Matheny and team leaders Chris Long, Drew Spradlin, and Scott Grable to discuss the outlook for the 2010-2011 season. One of the strengths of last year's team was our senior leadership. So there's going to be a, a challenge to pass the torch, and they've done that as they've now left campus and passed it on to Chris Long, Scott Grable, our seniors, as well as Drew Spradlin, who was elected captain. But you can go on through Terrence Burdett, Daniel Watts, and Josh Bonney. So uh, we expect quite a bit out of our junior and senior classes in, in the regards to leadership. Everyone's really stepped up. Uh, we got Chris Long as a fellow senior with myself, and Drew Spradlin, and Terrence Burdett. Daniel Watts, and basically everybody's really stepped up their game. We've had great practices leading up to uh, this point. We've had about two weeks of practices now, so we're, we're really excited for the season to start. In preparation for Matheny's second season at the helm, the Phoenix brought in a highly acclaimed four-man recruiting class. Well, first of all, they're good fits for the university. They, they are student athletes, and uh, they'll be challenged and willing to accept challenges in the classroom as well as uh, challenged and willing to accept challenges on the court. Uh, I think each of them kind of brings something different and uh, each of them definitely brings something that I, I think you'll see this year. Riley Beaumont, he's uh, really came in and impressed some people just with his toughness, his competitiveness as a young guy. That's sometimes something that comes later and uh, seems to have that, you know, right now. Um, Lucas Trauman um, is a 4-5. He's, he's one of the most talented players that, uh, that we've seen coming in here. Sebastian Koch is very talented, very skilled. Um, he's trying to learn the system right now, but uh, he's very talented. I think you'll see good things from him. And then uh, Jack Eisenbarger, um, he's, a, he's a solid guard. Um, he's a good shooter. He's a good leader. Um, he's someone that you can trust with the ball. Poised with returning starters and a strong recruiting class, the Elon Phoenix face a daunting schedule, including games against major Division I programs such as South Carolina, Maryland, NC State, Wake Forest, and the defending national champion, Duke Blue Devils. Well, we want to play against the best, and uh, our guys and coaches are really excited about the schedule we put together. And you go to Cameron Indoor, or the Comcast Center up in Maryland, or down in Columbia to play South Carolina, and the other teams that you mentioned, and you, you will be tested, you will be challenged, but you, when you walk out of those facilities, you'll be uh, battle tested. And um, it'll help prepare us for the run in the Southern Conference. Elon opens their season November 12th by traveling to Columbia, South Carolina to take on the Gamecocks. The Phoenix then return home on November 15th to host the College of New Jersey in Elon's home opener. The Phoenix open up their Southern Conference slate on December 1st against Furman as they begin their mission to win their first Southern Conference title. For the Elon Phoenix Weekly, I'm Tom Waterman.